All right. And we open balance. <laughs> it's probably the pick, which is really funny. Let's check out the rest of the cards in this pack. <clears throat> This card, this card, I think we just take this, all right, can maybe now splash for either Shapers of Nature or Tishana. I think this card is really good. I think Rummaging Goblin is totally fine. But I think if you can make Shapers of Nature work, it's pretty nutty. There's a chance that Rummaging Goblin is just better. of nature anyway though okay interesting hmm maybe a chillbringer now over the ophidian rendhorn some random azorius cards it doesn't seem like a crazy pack for us could take senate griffin to stay as open as possible but i think chillbringer is better by enough that it's fine to take now we can maybe take a leave in the dust. Sure. Quicksand now. There's also Assassinate, Looming Shade, Dusk Imp. Got the Assassinate combo with the Chillbringer. Could just take Dusk Imp. There's an interactive card. We only have one pack here, so we can take some time on this one. I think it's not Quicksand. I think I am supposed to take a black card, probably. Feels like the shade probably is the highest ceiling, but removal is also quite important. I guess it's probably the Assassinate. Pretty low confidence. Let's just take it. Ooh, a Charmed Sleep. You love to see it. So we are 100% in blue here. Wild Aesthere, perhaps. Attacking creature you control. But there's also Clockwork Swarm, and this card I remember being pretty good. It's a 4 mana 4-3, four, and then it slowly shrinks, but you can pump it back up. Totally reasonable 4-drop, and it keeps us open. Hmm. Probably just a 4 mana 2-5 now. Could play Exali's Keeper, but we just don't need to. So we could be in white or black or green. Ooh, and a gateway sneak. That's a nice gift for us here. Other options. Well, black, white, and green are all on the table otherwise in this pack. Um, I like the sneak though. It works with the Chillbringer, the Charmed Sleep, and the Leave in the Dust. Um, Rentorn was the only green card in that one wield, so it's interesting to note. Uh, whereas the double blue, double white card got picked up, so somebody is presumably doing that. The person will probably draft the Sphinx's Insight as well. And we haven't seen much white in general. Just as I say that, a white card. Um, but we could take either Augmenting Automaton or Defiant Salvager. There was the shade that we saw earlier, so we could take the Automaton now as basically another shade, or we could take the Salvager. I think it's okay to take the Automaton. I don't think this card's great. Well, I don't know. I do think the Salvager is generally better just like blocks better basically. Okay, I better speed up. Uh, 
Yeah, let's just take this one. And we did get the shade anyway. Where did our salvager actually go? Oh, it's just right there. We'll just take the shade this time. Uh, now it's a choice between uh, the white cards. I guess we'll take the ritual. Sure. So it does seem like we are probably Demir, but we could splash for Shapers of Nature, potentially. Thornwood Falls, you say, just as I'm talking about splashing. Talarian Kraken, there's a Pestilent Haze. Some good cards for us. Soul Seer as well. Eventually we will need cheaper plays. I think I'm supposed to take Pestilent Haze here over the Kraken, uh, over the Deathgloom Thalid, over the Thornwood Falls. If Thornwood Falls wheels, I'd be pretty happy. Any goodies in this one? Maybe a Void Mage Apprentice? Otherwise, seven mana, four, four flyer, merchant of secrets. Yeah, we can take this guy. This thing is totally fine. This thing is probably pretty decent. But I like the void mage. Now I have to figure out if there are any playables in this pack. So two, two with upkeep costs. This thing I don't think is very good. This thing I think can be good, but man, is it slow. Four mana, two, two fear. I think I can take this and maybe wheel that. Sensei's top, huh? Peer through depths. I don't really think that's happening. What does the top actually do for me? Or would I rather just have like Eye of Nowhere? I don't know. I think top matters. Uh, I can have like balance and top and stuff and just change my draw steps. I think it's okay to take it. Ooh, Aetherize. That's a good magic card. Sure. Narcolepsy, also good. Passing a ghostly changeling, which is a little bit sad, but not the end of the world. This is a very good card for us. And passing a Sunlance as well. Right? <laughs> Reset my top with Denizen, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, I like that idea. Good to see you, by the way, Opa. How long do we have until this thing starts? I joined that thing just thinking, like, I have a bunch of QPs I need to burn, so... Um, I think here I need to take Masked Blackguard. It's my only two drop, uh, not counting Narcolepsy or this two mana one one. Um, and I'm not that likely to splash Shapers of Nature off the um, Thornwood Falls. And this guy can be kind of annoying. Um, otherwise nothing in this pack really matters, so. Uh, I guess there's, well, the invoker might actually matter. Sure. Maybe there's a matchup where I have eight mana. <laughs> or I just want to see snit or something. Oh, and sadly we do not wield the four mana two two fear. We don't wield the, um, whatever you call it either. So I guess I'm hate drafting a white card this fire breathing guy is not the worst. This is um, Indomitable Will, or whatever, which is just a perfectly playable card. 
This is three mana two two. Uh, this thing is annoying. I'd rather play against Indomitable Will, I think. Oh, I took too long on that one somehow. Could take the one seven. I kinda wanna take peer through depths depths. I have five ish spells. Somebody can have their one seven, I guess. Um This is uh, we'll take this maybe. And this is playable. This could be annoying against me. These cards are horrible. It's funny that I entered myself into this thing even though I really do not care about it at all. I guess I better be careful not to end up taking too much time with that. Okay, well, maybe we are going to end up splashing white. I'm going to have to read that guy. Cut this. Okay. Whoops. So bushmeat is good. Anything else for blue-black in this pack? Gust of wind is fine. Is bushmeat good in my deck? It's not even amazing. How many non-humans do I have to mutate this? Because that's the only way I can cast it. Seven mana, reanimate stuff, total mana value 10, and it's a death touch light blinker. Is this a human? It probably is, but it's not a human when it's facing the other way. I think I am supposed to, well, I could take the Nethroi or I could just take Gust of Wind or Bushmeat Poacher all of which I think would be very reasonable. I only have two packs right now. I have no fixing for white. I just said the balance is not good in my deck. I guess I need to pass the Nethroi. So then am I taking Gust or Poacher? Um, guess it's Poacher. Okay, can put Infiltrator Ilkor into our deck. That's just a two drop. Survives the um, minus two, minus two, if it's suspended. Whip Spine Drake is good. Can we get a playable out of this pack? Probably not. Wormfang Manta. Seven mana, six one flyers. Skip my turn. No thank you. Take Raise Dead Reanimate. I think Treacherous Werewolf is a better card than the other ones, but we don't even need to play that. I think I can probably just hate draft a Lava Dart. Or a Mana Dork. But I think Lava Dart could be trouble for me. So we'll just get that one out of there. Death's Head Buzzard, just as I hate draft the Lava Dart. I think I am supposed to take this. Um, there's also Lingering Death, but I do kind of like the Buzzard, even if it is going to cause me some problems. I have a Sack Outlet too. Sure. Oh, I have multiple Sack Outlets. I think I'm not splashing. I think I'm straight up blue-black. Okay. Hmm. Could just take and play Ruthless Ripper. It's cheap, helps with the curve, obviously. Um, there's Mystic of the Hidden Way, which is good. Phyrexian Ghoul, that kind of effect is always good, I think. I think it is just the Ripper. Double Pacifism in the pack as well. Yeah. Pretty bad pack, I think. Take like a Torch Drake. Oh, Harrier Griffin is in the pack. I think I'm just hate drafting again. All these cards are bad except for the white cards, so we'll just get a Harrier Griffin out of there. 
play the pangolin or we could play the startling development. I think they're both playable. Kind of like the one five. Leaden fists, not the literal worst. Werewolf, maybe in some weird scenario where we just need a blocker. Uh, this is not the lingering death that I hoped it was. Yeah, I think we're actually playing Glintwing Invoker in the stack. Glad I took it. Um, Dragon Fangs? I don't know. These cards are all bad. I guess the Symbiote. Oh, wow. Excellent. So we wheel a Mystic of the Hidden Way. Very, very good. And now we take this, I guess. This card can maybe be annoying. Okay, I'm 20 seconds. All right, how quickly can I build this deck? one cut. Yeah, didn't get there in time. Oh, it's the uh, plague guy or whatever, right? I don't know, I kind of think I just want to drop. I don't really want to worry about this. Let's just see if I opened anything expensive and then just get on with it. Did we get anything? The Luna. Uh, no. <laughs> Hilda. Uh, no. <laughs> Discovery. It's not even on there even though it shows up as a mythic. Scales. It's not on the front page, I guess. Or, oh wait, no, they're just in a different thing. Ingenious, okay, yeah. Sleep. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Song. Spell. Gotta check for beanstalks, I guess. Doesn't look like I got any beanstalks. Yeah, I guess we're just dropping with this pool. Chanting tails. These are all gonna be worthless, right? Oh, I got one that's like 28 cents. Yeah, okay, let's just get out of this guy. Wait, what? 
it won't let me drop. <laughs> Help. All right, well, somebody's getting a buy. <laughs> go do this and then I'll just add some planes to the board just in case okay yeah this is a keep spicy okay we have triple morph though, which is also spicy. Do I even want to try to build this thing? I feel like I don't. I remembered my stops at least, that's something. Gateway sneak, okay, okay. Sure. There's the swamp. Okay, it's a little late. Let's play the blocker. Yeah, I'm glad I went in favor of black. This pool looks like probably bad anyway. Okay. We can play the shade here and it can start attacking next turn. Quicksand, interesting. Leaden Fists, it's interesting. It's another combo with the Chillbringer, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess we're just doing that here. This, and then we're going to Attack. And then I have to decide. I guess I'm supposed to get this guy into play. Alright. Yeah, I just don't have it in me to look at this pool anymore. Whatever. They just copied an ISO or oh, is that like Mirror Maid or whatever? Okay. Attack. We'll send this one in because I don't mind this one dying. And 
we have a counter up now. Feeling pretty good. Swamp. Combat. Also, I've been tapping the right way without realizing it, which is kind of nice. Oh, I closed the chat. I didn't need to do that. I think that's fine. That's pretty good. Oh, I didn't morph my guy end of turn. That was a mistake. I missed that. That was sloppy. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, this time I am going to do it. Alright, balance would have been pretty, well, hey Hexus Nox, good to see you, yeah, um, we do have a balance in our sideboard by the way, <laughs> um, yeah, we're back at it today with some Chaos Draft, it's actually the second stream of the morning after playing some um, M10 on X-Mage, so nice to be able to get some of my favorite format in on the Magic Online client. I don't think I'm supposed to change anything in this matchup. Got a different avatar set up now on Magic Online. Trying to look a little bit different. Oh, this is just um, the classic thing that I'm organizing in the server. I'm gonna keep this, get rid of a swamp. Pretty reasonable hand. Sure, that guy's fine. Ghost Warden, 
That is a good card. I'm going to try to assassinate that, I guess, if I can. <laughs> I'm hoping they just, like, attack and pump. Do that. Hmm. That's annoying for me. Oh, they did attack and pump. Never mind, we're good. Uh, and I just want to kill this thing right now. So we can attack first because they don't have a block. And they made this play because they didn't know that I didn't have uh, another swamp in hand, I think. Um, which is quite reasonable. So now we pump once. And hit this. And the clockwork swarm is coming in town. And they have the quicksand and a senate griffin, okay. Presumably you're milling yeah, me. Mill a chillbringer in an island. I would have liked that chillbringer, but that's okay. Really don't have any need for an island here. Probably going to narcolepsy the senate griffin, but we don't need to do that right away. I will offer the trade here. The opponent wants to accept. That's totally fine with me. Tempting to try to like etherize them. Morph of their own, interesting. And they have quicksand up. Hmm. Okay. How does this work? End of combat. So it still attacks for four. Okay. I don't know what the morph is. I do have to watch my life total. I wonder if the morph is the 3-3 three, three flyer. I bet you it is. I bet you it's the 3-3 three, three flyer. Okay, so they take four. Sure, our guy gets shrunk. And then now we go push meat. And we go for the narcolepsy on the flyer. And we'll put an upkeep stop on so we can grow this. Yep, it's the 3 3 flyer as anticipated. And I think I just send both my creatures in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Land seems probably good. Combat. I guess it was better to, oh, it was better to pump this first, I think, but whatever.
basically, I think we missed one point of life the way we chose to do it here. <laughs> All right, opponent. Yep, yep, yep. I basically lose to a counter spell, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, I have to drop from that guy now. <laughs> it seemed pretty good for me. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Wasn't going to be able to cast that this turn anyway. playing on this client compared to the one that I have been playing lately. Yeah, Arena can be sweet, and I do think visually it is quite nice. Um, it doesn't actually run on my computer, <laughs> which is one big reason I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but I've actually been playing some X-Mage recently, which is not a client that I've used before. It's also not Wizards supported in any sense, but yeah. Okay, so they hit me, and then no reason to do anything on upkeep. Drawing a land is a dagger. I think I need to try to kill the opponent, which is possibly one of the most obvious things I've said <laughs> for a while, but um, hopefully it makes sense in the context of what's going on here. So the opponent's down to four. trying to decide whether to sack this, which I think they probably should. 
they might not get another chance to. The awkward thing is if they can live through this turn, um, well, the 3-3 three, three flyer can't kill me right away because I do have a blocker that can trade for them. <laughs> Thanks, Vandwedge. I'll try my best. Let's see what the opponent's up to here. They can morph after attacking if they want to change their mind on this play. Otherwise, we're happy to do some stuff here. I think them gaining four is a good sign for us. We've really been able to claw back into this game thanks to Aetherize. Uh, though, like I mentioned, um, if I lose this game by like one damage, I think it'll be because I punted, because I, I let the opponent go for the quicksand on the Looming Shade when I was in combat, and then sacked it to the Bushmeat rather than five mana. Okay, ooh, Air Servant. Uh, that is... Oh, that just kills me. Okay. Uh, but they do have to block, or wait, oh, they don't have to block, because 3, 4, 5, 6, shoot, yeah, they don't have to accept any trades here, so I have to top deck, spell, charmed sleep, wow, that was sick, let's go, Um, I can't imagine, yeah, I mean, the 1-5 the can just stay back, that's fine. So it just bounces off their thing anyway. Ooh, this game's getting intense. Let's think about my deck for a second. Any reason to play out the swamp versus hold it? I think holding it's fine. So if the opponent, hmm. Like they can basically prevent this from being a card with the air servant. That does cost them three mana. Opponent has five cards in hand though. I think we're supposed to lose this game. I don't hate going to zero cards in hand. I used to. I used to think that it meant that, like, um, you know, like, my opponent had perfect information, which, I mean, that's still true. Ah, oh, they're getting life and drawing a card. That's annoying. Um, anyway, I used to think it was, like, really bad and annoying and all this stuff. Um, and then I started noticing some games that I would lose because I would like draw divination and I like didn't play my my land drop on the previous turn or whatever and it was just <laughs> it suddenly became like a oh yeah like now uh <laughs> now I just want to see what I need to do here okay so the opponent I still can't kill them uh we're gonna activate this for two on upkeep done and then let's see what we draw top okay it's interesting uh, i guess i use blue mana and then do i just use more blue mana yeah i already drew charm sleep so oh interesting uh, so I'm supposed to put Mystic of the Hidden Way onto the battlefield. Um, and I don't actually know if the other one matters. Oh, I'm just drawing top anyway, right? But does the other one matter? Uh, I don't think it does. So let's go uh, this, this, hello, this this draw attack for two 
and then hopefully win on the next turn with the Mystic. And we have some other lethal threats here as well, because we have this, which attacks for four, which is a lethal threat. Um, two plus one is also a lethal threat, and this is lethal on its own. So the opponent has three lethal threats to deal with. They can't block the Mystic, so they need a removal spell. Um, they need to block this, and then, yeah. They can also gain life. Oh yeah, wing shards, that's a good point. Okay, the glider. Well, fortunately they don't have wing shards up here. So hopefully I can just make the attack and seal the deal, but yeah, it's a good thing to think about for sure. Um, Let's, yeah, so I don't have to worry about wing shards. Let's do this first, maximum information. Okay, I don't think these matter a whole lot. Guess I can kill the glider. Okay, let's now go to combat. <laughs> All right. Whew. That was a close game. All right, GG's. All right. Well, here we go, folks. Keep. Might have a very good pestilent haze here. Mm, maybe not. I don't actually remember enough of his deck to say whether I was supposed to just run out the pestilent haze. I kind of think I'm not supposed to. Yeah, I really don't know. I think this is a really bad matchup for me if he gets the, um, the Grave Pact into play. Fruit, sure. It's definitely good. Oh god, there it is. I think I'm supposed to let this go. Now 
I think I just go land. Man, this is so tough, though. What's going on here but it can't be good for me just keep the thing alive that's totally fine I mean I already don't think I can beat grave pact frankly over top oh lifecraft cavalry okay Oh, it has a reach counter. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Not sure what he's thinking about here. There's no real decision. I guess he's just AFK or something. I don't really know what he's up to. What is going on here? Claws of wirewood get cycled, okay. <clears throat> I think I need to take this damage. Oh, he's not attacking anymore, okay.
not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I could try to wait until I hit enough lands. I think I'd maybe just pass. I mean, I could... It's just so bad if he has removal. Also, like, what am I sacking here? Like, all my cards are significantly better than his at this point. Okay. There we go. And that thing is getting killed. Okay. That's only a little bit annoying. feeling like I would have won this game if I played Leaden Fists on the 2-1. Solly's <laughs> Keeper. It's annoying. And it gets sacrificed. This game is getting hard. I was probably supposed to start attacking a while ago. Okay. I did mess this up.
All right. So this is three damage. This is another two. So if I can hit him to five, I win. This is too much mana. God. So unfortunate. I think we're gonna lose. Really interesting game. Ultimately, my removal is just too clunky, I think. Does he have another spell, too? He's got something. He does have another spell. Yeah, I can't beat that. <laughs> That was pretty sick. It's a very real chance I threw that game. I really don't know.
we have any idea what that morph is? I feel like we don't. Oops. Can't be anything good for this much mana, yeah. Oh my god. Those pro dogs. There it comes. I'm gonna just kill that guy. Don't really know what's happening here. I do think I need this shade to live. I don't care if he uses a combat trick on this. Get to learn what their morph is. <laughs> what 
is this? Boo. This is a really good attack, I feel like. I'm just gonna do it. So I can kill him in three turns with the Leaden Fists. Okay, as long as there's no Grave Pact. Seemed like a good draw. I need the Morph not to do anything, and I can live, basically, or he can die, or whatever. Oh geez, I almost just killed myself. <laughs> Interesting game. <sighs> Seems like I'm probably losing for passing Grave Pact. Don't think the one one death touch cuts it here. Missing green mana. Okay. A 
unfortunate timing on that draw, but not the end of the world. Mm, finds the green mana. Now I'm in much worse shape, of course. Can't block. Sure. Two drop. He's one card in hand. I need to start hitting him for three unblockable. I think I play the Infiltrator. Oh, I did mess up here. Cause now I have to take two damage. I, that's fine. Yeah, no, we're actually fine here as long as he doesn't find the grave pact. There's no Grave Pact, we're chilling. Okay. 2-2 two, two Death Touch should also get in, and it does. Does he have the Nethroi? Feels like it. No, it's just the Morph. Just the Caretaker, I think. Pretty close. Oh, God. Ay, ay, ay.
I can win if I draw land now. Land. 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 Okay. Okay, win. Thanks, Brahman. Uh, geez, this is an ugly one. I think it's a mulligan. These are effectively double blue cards. I mean, I could keep Looming Shade plus Bushmeat Poacher, but the fact that I don't just need blue, but double blue, or I could think of it like I need any land to play a Grey Ogre, any second land to play... A... I talked myself into it. All right. <laughs> yeah, so all like all ten looming shades I passed in M10, I got them. <laughs> right. I wonder if Quake is double queued or something. Seems to be using very little clock so far and not using the chat, so you never know. Land War Elves, that's a bad sign for me if I'm keeping this hand. Okay, but we find the island. Never didn't have it, etc. <laughs> Important to play island in case uh, I end up wanting to use Charmed Sleep here. Yeah. I do need one more land, but we have, like, Sensei's Divining Top in our deck. I'm oh, jeez. Okay. Island, ma maybe, now? Okay. I will accept an Arcolepsy. That was a problem. Jeez. No, thank you. <laughs> it's just, like, the nut aggro start over there. It's going to be tough for me to win this one, I think, this matchup, but we'll see how it goes. If I draw land, like specifically if I draw island, I think I'm in decent shape. So this is a double green card or a four drop or this. Okay, so now a three drop or two drop maybe. This is a two drop, I think. Oh, cauldron. Oh, jeez. Wow. Sick. Okay, we do find that, so now I can block here. I think now I'm actually just supposed to leave this in the dust. Um, yeah. Well, let's just pass. Yeah, I very much agree, Brotman. I, it's another example of that like distribution of rate thing uh, that exists on a bunch of cards like that, in my opinion, like the conditional ones where it's just either garbage or great. So the goal here is basically to incentivize Quake to go to combat with the Lana War Elves. So if they end up needing to double spell in order to replay the Storm Entity, they uh, are not able to do it. So now we're going to leave in the dust here, try to make this less relevant. Looks like one spell. Oh geez, just a 6-6, six, six, I see. Well, glad I still have the Charmed Sleep, though I'm starting to run out of answers. All right, 
right. I need land. Okay, this into the 2-2 two, two haste probably. Oh no, it's a 3-3 three, three again. Wow, that's so sick. Are we grafting? Probably should. No? Okay. Yeah, I'm in big trouble here. <laughs> like, I've had pretty good... I've had a pretty good draw, and I've just been behind the whole game. Okay, well, that was nice, too. I really need to draw land now. Okay. I really need to find crack implements. Put it on the. Okay. So now we actually have a mistake. So if you're going to put the counter on the 5 3, it's just better to put the counter on the initiate and then play the 5 3 post combat and graft. So that's a missed damage. Um, so we just need to... play these. Hope that Koik is out of gas or close. Obviously can't block the 5-3. Not killing either of my guys is annoying too. I kind of want to draw land, I think. I'm not sure what Koik can have here, but this is bad for me, for sure. Yeah, I think land is among my best draws. Okay, we'll see what gets killed here. Kills the Mystic, that's the worst one for me to lose, I think. Land is nice. So now... This, and then we have to trade. We're almost just dead already. Or I could play this in multi-block. Is that better or worse? I think it's... I have no idea. I'm not sure what I'm playing around. If it's a burn spell that deals like one or two damage, it's worse. Which one do I want to die? Do I want the poacher to die or do I want the looming shade to die? I think I want the Looming Shade to die. This is so awkward though, because I won't be able to counter a spell now. Maybe I need to be able to counter a spell? <sighs> Whatever.
then maybe if they're like just lands in hand, no, but there's a spell now. What is this? Oh god. Okay, well at least we can trade for that. And if we draw a land, we can still counter. Yeah, I just have to trade now. Definitely made the right play in terms of the block, but I was not expecting it to work out that well. Just feels like Koike has too much gas left though. Need them to draw like 10 lands. <laughs> like any spell oh nice yes that was so huge for me now i think i probably need to attack i assume they're never blocking i don't think you're allowed to block here i am afraid of that morph yes good it's not a one one <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, Brahman. Okay. I think I can beat that one. Play a blocker. Oh, I actually messed up. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's not a horrible mistake, but I should have played land and just attacked with a 3-3 instead of offering them the triple block. Interesting, okay. I think this has to be good for me. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. Okay, just a concession. Whew, that was quite the game to survive. <laughs> I feel good about how we played it though. The Pestilent Haze should be either really sick in this matchup or like not do much of anything. Guess we just, I part of me wants to splash the balance, but there's just no way it's correct.
this one though. Okay, this one's good. Elf on the shelf or the one one graft? No. Okay. This is maybe not a hand where I should have kept Pestle and Haze. Maybe the C Snid is actually better. Part of me wants to look for black mana. I think that's worth it. <laughs> Where's my chance to shuffle? Oh, that's right, it's not ponder. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay. Yuck. Okay. So now there can be a dread maw. Forgot that there are two triggers there. I think I'm too far behind the eight ball here to play this and use it as a counter. Dreadmaw, dang it. Yeah. I mean, the plus side is it only came down one turn sooner. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to attack, yeah. Now I got to do this first. Really not set up well against a 6 6. I guess I'm double blocking with the swarm and the 2 2. I just died at anything here though.
Don't touch my stuff. Oh god. Okay. Well, I still have a double block. That's what counts. I guess. <laughs> Oh, geez, are you serious? <laughs> okay, we're losing this game badly. So we know land and whatever are on top. So Let's go draw the spell. Now we go top. All right. So we're fighting for our life as the only undefeated player, or we could just have a draft where no one, <laughs> nobody trophies. I think we have a, an okay matchup. I don't think it's great. I think it's time for maybe a three mana two, two over the five mana three, three. I don't know, we do have a bunch of three drops, whatever. Let's just run it back. I'm going to keep, doesn't mean I like it. Pretty sure I'm supposed to use top on upkeep so I can potentially play a buzzard on three. Okay. Um, find lands. Okay. this thing to draw a card. It doesn't draw a card, sadly. Okay. Yeah, it is a scroll thief. I called it an Ophidian earlier, but it is actually just scroll thief. Good to see you, by the way, Aramath. We are in game three of the finals of our chaos draft, and if we lose this one, then nobody gets the trophy. <laughs> If I can't have this trophy, then no one will. Uh, I'm gonna use top on upkeep to look for a swamp, I think. If they attack, I'm double blocking, okay. Rummaging Goblin, it's a good magic card. And Scaldron. Well, pretty scripted play. It'd be nice if I could draw land at some point, but whatever.
now I have to start passing the turn. I think I'm going to lose this game. Ay, ay, ay. Plenty of scary 5 drops that could come down here. Could just be a 5 mana 5-5 five, five vanilla and I'm still losing. Could be like multiple spells and a storm entity. But if that's the case, then I'm a little curious why Skaldron came down last turn. So maybe it's not the storm entity. Maybe it's the blood rush creature. Or whoops, um bloodthirst creature. Okay, that guy, that's bad news for me. All right, so we get to pass and the implements. Okay, still annoying, but not the end of the world. No game actions to take. Your go. <laughs> Please just play something I can counter. Please. I'm begging you. I'm probably supposed to take a hit for five here because if I double block then the cauldron kills it and I don't want to triple block and I don't want to use etherize so I guess I'm passing okay that guy can freaking get out of there and I was correct the opponent did have that in hand And they have swift foot boots. Interesting. And they have. Oh, they're almost out of cards. Hmm. Draw the three three past the turn probably etherizing now I mean we'll see what happens I will triple block this time kind of hope it's the 4-4 haste oh Jesus okay Oh, they can haste that. Okay. And so maybe now they go for an attack with a 5-3? I need both. Come on, both. Yes. Okay, this is good for me. Good enough, maybe. I think I... I have to think about how I'm using top here. What's better, black mana or land drop? I think it's black mana. Okay, there's the black mana. Um.
pitch a land. That stupid goblin is just going off. <clears throat> I might just have to chump with the void mage. Maybe that's good. Like, if I find double black, then I can just sack the buzzard to this, kill the goblin. That does seem good, if it works. So now the opponent gets to make a 4-4, four, four, or cast a 6-6 six, six for... Oh, it doesn't actually have mana value, whatever. Okay, I see. So if they go for the haste and attack... Oh, they don't. So they're representing plus one, plus one hex proof here. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good about how I've played this actually, which is not something I expected to be thinking. I can start sacking my Void Mage and crap to the um, Bushmeat. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'm going to get there. I can't play targeted removal anymore, though. Because the opponent has Hexproof plus Swiftfoot Boots. Like, why didn't they equip, right? I don't know. Maybe they just... I don't know. I do get to start using the... I have a shade on top of my library, by the way. I get to start using the um, top on upkeep. I don't really want to draw the shade, which is the unfortunate thing, like assuming they go for the attack here. They just cauldron that now. Okay, I just sack it then. Gain my three life. Take my six damage. Mm -hmm. Upkeep top. Looking for black mana. Please. Please. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um. So we don't need that much black mana. So we can go Swamp, Mystic, Swamp. And now we go Draw. And now, oh shoot, did I screw up? I might have screwed up here. So the 2 1 flyer gets to start hitting them, which is really important. I think the play is Death's Head Buzzard, pass. Sack the Void Mage when the Starix gets blocked by it. The opponent didn't rummage. That might be horrible for me. They might just have four mana Dreadmaw here. Jesus. Why do I say things? Dreadmaw is such a big problem. And I feel like they have the... I just 
feel like they have the plus one plus one hex proof. I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I really feel like they have it. Okay, I have to I have to do this correctly or I lose. So this dying kills that, and it kills this. Um, this goes to one power. I want to go two five here, one three here. can do this and then I can sack this but I need to draw my card I don't know if I'm allowed to take that much damage though because uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out I want to see if I can draw a card from this too Wait, maybe I just do this. These two, these two trade. I sack this. I don't lose my stuff. I think that's best, maybe. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. So I need to draw a card with the sneak, I think. Well, can I kill this? I need to put seven power in front of that. I think the answer is no.
This is getting hard. <laughs> Gain three draw. Oh, yeah, Starks. I mean, I can now kill the Dreadmaw. I don't know if I want to, though. I feel like I kind of want to chump, which is maybe insane. Let's see what the opponent does. I don't know, I'm under a ton of pressure. So if I quad block one of them, they can only kill two things. If they have something here, I do just lose, but that's okay. I need them to go for like plus one plus one hexproof on this and then I sack that. Okay, that's pretty close. Okay, whatever. And they probably now have plus one plus one hexproof here anyway. Hit me for nine. Or wait, no, I'm up to ten. We're good, we're good. God, not again. I think I just need to pass this turn. <sighs> Running out of time. I think I lose. Oh well. And they have plus one, plus one <laughs> They had it. <laughs> they just had it the whole time I was right. Okay, well, nobody's trophying this one. Yeah. Sure, why not?
Well, we fought our absolute heart out there. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 